are faced with a crisis. Every weapon in the arsenals of the mightiest armies on Earth are completely ineffective against this... creatures... Invasion of the Cicadas and Cicada Geddon. No, these are not the names of sci fi movies from the 1950s like Invasion of the Body Snatchers or Tarantula. Instead, they describe a historic event unfolding from mid May to June in 17 states across the Midwest and the South. After laying dormant for more than a decade, Brood 19 and Brood 13 will crawl from underground, rearing their ugly heads in the trillions. But do these cicadas pose a threat? The answer, no, cicadas come in peace. In fact, cicadas serve as an essential food source for birds and other predators, and when they die, their decomposing bodies enrich the soil. But cicadas aren't just helping the environment, they're also saving lives. For millions across the globe suffering from long COVID, asthma, or cystic fibrosis, oxygen machines are a means of survival. But what happens when biofouling or the accumulation of microorganisms takes place inside of an oxygen tube, putting that survival at risk? The answer might come from adult cicadas with a rather unique superpower, their wings. You see, these wings are of great interest to engineers at the University of Louisville. Last year, a team of researchers led by Chuang Chu successfully recreated a synthetic material that mimics the astonishing nanostructure of cicada wings. These wings have the ability to repel water and kill bacteria. Tiny spikes called nanopillars, thousandth of the diameter of a human hair, can essentially impale bacterial cells with lethal results, and their first victim, E. coli bacteria. Every year, more than 700,000 people in the U.S. catch infections in hospitals and other healthcare facilities. Despite modern sanitation, tragically, more than 90,000 lives are lost because of these infections, and engineers are doing something about it. Imagine a world where breathing tubes, surgical tools, biomedical implants, and even everyday door handles are coated with microscopic spikes to annihilate bacteria before they even have a chance to invade. In the movies of the 1950s, insects were often a threat to humankind. But in reality, humans are using insects, namely cicadas, to advance technology in ways you can't even imagine. Losing a limb, losing your teeth, even taking a vaccine, it can all make life feel a tad bit heavy. So can a phenomenon that intrigued chemical and biomedical engineers at Georgia Tech University lighten the load? Cicadas aren't just any ordinary backyard critter. Unlike other small insects and mammals that urinate in droplets, these remarkable creatures jet out urine with astonishing force. And it's this unique method of fluid ejection that's caught the attention of engineers looking to advance technology in ways that we've only just begun to explore. Tiny robots and efficient micro nozzles are now being inspired by the natural jetting ability of cicadas. That's what a team of engineers led by assistant professor Saad Bamla from Georgia Tech's School of Chemical and Biomolecular Engineering are now studying. During a field study in Peru, Bamla's team observed numerous cicadas up close, capturing the first ever field footage of their high-speed liquid launches. A rare glimpse into the fluid dynamics of cicada life given their elusive nature. Beyond creating more effective small-scale hydraulic systems, their findings could revolutionize soft robotics, additive manufacturing, and even how we design drug delivery systems. That means improving prosthetic limbs, dentures, and even how we administer vaccines. So you see, cicadas really are all the buzz, and they're indeed our friends. Unlike that other bug. <laughs> So if you like this week's episode, don't forget to follow and subscribe for more incredible engineering news.